Article up now. 30, twenty thousand dollars to be placed in something called the Hampton Conservation Fund. Okay, Jay, would you come down and join us? That, is, that one, is that the one you wanted, Ms. Uh, Madam Chairman? That, that, that one next? That sounds like a proper name, doesn't it? That is the next article, yes. Good evening. Jay. That's, that's annoying. Good evening. Yeah. Want to talk to us a little bit on this one? Sure. Um, at the meeting last Thursday, um, there was some discussion about the fact that there had been a number of different names under which this fund existed over the years since it was created in 1987, and a request was made to clarify that issue. Um, we believe we've done so with this warrant article, um, which references the Hampton Conservation Fund, um, and it also states the Conservation Fund contains previously approved appropriations or gifts for the same or similar purposes that have made to the, quote, Conservation Commission Accumulation Fund, unquote, the, quote, Conservation Land Fund, unquote, and the, quote, Conservation Land Acquisition Fund. So those funds are effectively being rolled into what now and from this point forward will be known as the Hampton Conservation Fund. I have one question for you after spending way too much time on this. The Conservation Commission Accumulation Fund mm -hmm. was the only warrant article that I found for creation of a fund back 1987. That's correct. There were subsequent warrant articles that included allocations to the other named funds. Right, they but there was never a legal creation of any of the other funds from what Correct. many well, of us re many of us researched this and not only on this committee it even goes to Ellen Lavin, our treasurer, for what the names of the funds were and even by your research in which you came up with the Conservation Commission Accumulation Fund. I'm just looking to, cl to clear this up once and for all. Oh, you and me both. Legally, one fund is out there. You have an operating budget. I believe you have um, a CD and an account from a gift that goes back to Seabrook Station, I believe. And you have what was created in 1987 as the Land Accumulation Fund. But now we're going to ask for money under the Hampton Conservation Fund with no link in the history as to when that change in name occurred. So the thing that troubles me is we're right back to where we were and somebody going looking for the Hampton, Hampton Conservation Fund <coughs> as an entity that was informed. That's in the statute. And the Conservation Commission Accumulation Fund is in the records. So that's where my quandary is in approving this. Not the intent of it. Shouldn't this foreign article, though, attempt to create the title and then fund the title with previous funds? Well, we're not talking about changing a title in it, though. Well, we're talking saying. about as being referred to as other things, well, we should, yeah, but it. We, I don't. We spent so much time cleaning up the name and finding because, as you recall, when you were in here last, how many funds did we have? Nobody knew the answer. Was it one? Was it two? Was it three? Um, and I think finally we know where we are. Mm -hmm. But I was just hoping that we could have a warrant article that cleaned that all up. I would have been happy if this said, you know. The Conservation Commission Accumulation Fund, because that's what we see from 1987, and no name changes in between. There, well, there, there were name changes via warrant articles. Those warrant articles were approved. I, I don't know how or when those name changes occurred. The only answer to your question, to, to your what you're suggesting is to go back to the um, the Conservation Commission Accumulation Fund, right. but nobody knows what that means. 
<laughs> That's the whole point of That's this great. of the whole thing is that Which when is we one. ask when we ask the taxpayers for money, it need to me it needs to go into a fund that the name was voted on and actually developed at some point in time, not because it sounds better to call it something else without asking the voters to actually change the name. So that's my quandary on this one is that here again we're going to be voting to accept money to the Hampton Conservation Fund when actually the Hampton Conservation Fund is the Conserva uh, Conservation Commission Accumulation Fund. <laughs> Madam Chairman, the statute's pretty clear. I think we could just move forward based on the statutes alone. Citing what? It's called the Conservation Fund. That's what it says. It doesn't say anything about accumulation. It accumulates <coughs> everything. No, sure. Yep. The Conservation Commission has been the sole manager of this fund and, and, and throughout all the years. They're the ones that decide whether to accept money to put into the fund from whatever source and how and when to expend money from that fund. Now, according to the statute, uh, the Conservation Commission has authority over one such fund. It's called the Conservation Fund, literally, in the statute. Mm -hmm. So that name has some substance to it. I personally have not discovered, nor have I exhaustively searched for, the creation of the Conservation Fund. I assume, based on the behavior, that it exists. With regard to the land conservation Commission Accumulation Fund of Article 32 in 1987, I would challenge that it was actually created because it says the seat of the town will vote in, to raise and appropriate the sum of $30,000 for the Conservation Commission Accumulation Fund. Nowhere in this article does it say to create the fund. It simply says, much like last year's one for the Land Acquisition Fund, much like this one does uh, this year. It doesn't have the word create in it, it just assumes it already exists. So the article in 1987 is also operating under an assumption of a name, an assumed name, if you will. But I think if we are to assume a name without having actually a Warren article that gives birth to a fund name, I think if we are to assume a name, the name is properly the Conservation Fund, as is specified in the statute. So I'm okay with that assumption, kind of, sort of. I much would like to have the actual Warren article, but. I don't think we're going to find that for some time. We've been searching for it. Uh, without, I mean, we haven't had a focus circus, uh, search, search for it. Uh, but it has something to do with circus. But, yeah. <laughs> but I think it's likely to be found probably in like 1940s or 50s or something like that. Whenever the Conservation Commission was created, probably a year or two after that. I, I went back as far as I could. And how far did you go? couldn't find it. I think into the 60s. Yeah. yeah. How, far, how old is the Conservation Commission in here? I believe it was started in the 60s. Oh, okay. And you didn't find it, huh? Wow. That does bear kind of question whether we've actually formally created it. When did they write the conservation statute? Do you have any idea? My mem it's just memory my, tells me it was like in, in uh, the 30s or 40s. But that's That'd just, be my guess, too, without looking. Mm. We and I thought Hampton created their commission like shortly after that statute was enacted, but you, you seem to know it was in the 60s, right? I believe so. Yeah. So there is, that is a valid question that you're raising, Madam Chair. Yeah. But I think the, the article in 1987 doesn't, doesn't help us doesn't in any way. It doesn't go back way. far enough. No, it doesn't help us in any way. It doesn't use the word create or any variation of it. Well, Jay, I think you're stuck as much as we're stuck. And we know the intent and we know the work that the Conservation Commission has done. I think the point is to try, especially when we ask for money, to clarify things. Um, I have a suggestion on how it can be written. Good. If you can write well, we it. Well, we can't rewrite it now. The so right now. Warren article, can't they can change it. it. Can't change we, it. We, we can't change the Warren article. Okay. But I think that both Jay and I better have a much better understanding of where the history is and where all the funds are right now. We know, I, 
I believe we know where all the funds are. The history is... <laughs> Something else? You mean the you mean the money? The money. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Well, we know. <laughs> Let's put it this way: we know what, where we are from 1987 forward. Um, I would be okay on this, as apparently we've been doing it wrong forever. Um, <laughs> that makes it right. Yeah. The road You've got it all wrapped up in there, and I would hope that in this coming year, you'll find a way to do that history. And wrap it all up in one? War, one warrant article for action. One warrant article for clarity Makes to be sense. adopted, to roll all the names in as one. It's too late now. Um, <clears throat> but I really think it's essential because one day you and I won't be here and it'll be somebody else. And Come on. I think this is one of those, you know, hey, I've been on this committee for 15 years. I can tell you what's gone on for 15 years. But I can't give you the history 16 years ago, all right? And all of us get plopped in at a certain point in time, and it's not until the question comes up and we go backwards like this that it gets really murky. And we're talking about funds that are held in particular names under certain conditions. Not all funds can be accessed in any way we want to access them. And I think it would definitely be a benefit to you to clear that up. Mm -hmm. I think we've made real progress this year, Jay. We've come to finally acknowledge that we have one and only one fund, which mm -hmm. has several accounts, which are managed, has management controls as to how that, those accounts will be used. But that's a major step, given where we were yeah. three years ago when this discussion, three years ago, literally, when this discussion was begun, as you may recall. So I think we've made some real progress. I think there's still a valid question as to the name. That name, Conservation Fund, I believe is in ordinances, for example, with regard to when uh, change of use occurs in land, you, the Conservation Fund gets a percentage of that tax, mm -hmm. right? Right. And it's, and it's actually refers to the Conservation Fund. So uh, there is a ripple effects in terms of the need to get that actual warrant article for the creation of the fund. That's a really good thing. I will not be voting on this warrant article on the basis of the name myself. I will be voting on uh, for other reasons. So if we can get past the name and start speaking to the rest of the article, is that okay? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Jay, uh, normally, whatever you used to call the thing before, it was $10,000 every year, we're going to throw something in this fund in case we want to buy some land later on. Mm -hmm. Correct. And this year, I heard you at the Board of Selectmen say, since we always win that article, we always get a favorable vote mm -hmm. on that article. Right? Um, I... Well, you do. Go ahead, please. Yeah. You, did, you did say that. We always come in with ten thousand dollars, and we we almost always get it passed by a large percentage. Right? Uh, we are grateful for the voters' support of our warrant articles. Right. I, I don't want to appear arrogant. Well, I don't mean to suggest that. I was paraphrasing. These were not your words. I was using. Okay. Okay. And I don't mean to suggest that. But you did essentially say that because we get the ten thousand dollar article uh, approved pretty much every year that you thought you'd double it this year. The, the, the reason we're increasing it is because we're speaking now to people about four different parcels that have potential to be acquired by the town through the Conservation Commission, either to be acquired outright or via conservation easement. Do I know that they're all going to come through? No, I don't. But I think there's real potential there. Um, in three cases, the individuals, the property owners, have approached us mm -hmm. indicating an interest. Um, and that tells me that they're very sincere about wanting to pursue this. So it's more because of that, because we see an opportunity coming up fairly quickly to acquire some appreciable properties on behalf of the town that we'd like to see if there's something we can do that could speed up, speed up the the increase in the size of this fund so if we do have to go to the town to ask for additional funds for any of these particular acquisitions we can minimize those requests and that's that's always been our goal so because you've got some uh, uh, potential purchasers in mind which is news to me tonight that's fine that's the reason that you doubled the normal amount from 10 to 20 thousand correct and uh, finally, Madam Chair, I will be voting against this because I believe that when the Conservation Commission wants to acquire property, uh, it ought to just put out the number and say this is the tax impact for the actual acquisition 
you know, and say, oh, we have some savings account we can take it from, so the tax impact is going to be little or nothing. Right? It should be just, we have a project, we want to do a project, this is the amount, and let the voters decide on that basis, not some, hey, we've got some money on the side we can throw in to sweeten the pot here. Because it's sweetened pot from taxpayer money from years past. We, we so for that reason, Jerry, not, not the name, mm -hmm. but for that reason, I will be voting against this, okay? Just so you understand. I think we've had enough discussion on this. Let's take a vote on this article. Sure, I don't All appreciate right. being involved. I, I let's just shame okay. and run. Let's just gentlemen. shame and run this meeting. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone else on the step? Who hasn't spoken? Okay. All those in favor of Article 30. Okay, that would be... Mr. Bean. Nick, Scott, Mr. Bean. We can't see over in the corner there. Sonny, Jim. Yes. Bob, Jerry, After my fine speech, Mike, yep. that's right. <laughs> All those opposed? Tim, Eileen, Brian, and Mike. Get that lineage. No, four. Eileen voted no. Fine. I voted no. Okay. That passes. Thank you. Thank you, Jay. It's a good step forward, Jay. Good step. It still passed, but it did vote no. That's eight four zero.